Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I've been asked to come and do some um, electrical work inside this property. I wasn't really told um, before I came here what I was expecting. Basically I was just asked if I could do the ICR reports on it. But anyway, when I came down, the landlord actually um, sat down with me and said, look, you know, I've had this property and um, I've had the uh, group of builders that came and done some renovations. But um, also they've done some wiring and um, added a few sockets and so on. Um, so I came to basically have a look at it and when I had a look at it, basically it's a mess and um, whoever's done the wiring, they haven't done it to the standard. So there's no way I could pass this. Um, so I told them straight as a listen, it's dangerous the way things are in here and um, you'd have to get someone professional to um, fix this, you know, the way it is, and anyway, um, long story short, he decided uh, to give me the job and um, uh, for me to um, fix all the problems and so on, but um, it was just, I think it was the builder, he decided to do all the electrical work as part of his job and uh, try to save some money instead of getting a professional um, electrician in. I'll go through with you guys and I'll show you what's happened and what things are like. We're actually in the bathroom now. So this is the bathroom that's just been put in recently. There's a shower here with the uh, spotlights and the thing. But the IP rated, so they're okay. There's nothing wrong with that. But the shower here has been fitted. There's nothing wrong with that. But there's no switch for it. So I can't see any switch. Um, usually you have a shower switch, there's nothing there on the wall, not on no pull cord, nothing at all. So I think the way this has been wired, it's wired directly from the consumer unit, from the breaker uh, to the shower. Which is, um, I'll have to add a switch somewhere here, I'd have to climb the loft, go in there and uh, find the wire and add a um, pull cord switch. That will be the easiest option because I Otherwise, I'll have to run the cable down to the wall. It's already been tiled, so I'll just do a pull cord switch. And also, inside the bathroom, or what I've noticed, this is where the basin is. And right next to the basin, there's a socket. So, which I'll have to um, blank off, take that out and just blank it. Now, if you look at this, um, this is where the landing is in the um, upstairs. And the socket, so the switch, right switch for the landing is literally hanging and there's another switch here that's a new um, wire added right. and it's just literally th this is live um, and they've just left it unprotected um, and this is the four spotlight they put in and the landing but the thing is um, the light in the middle the wire that's hanging that's meant to be a two-way, so you can control it from up and down. But I'm not sure what he wants. I mean, whether he wants the um, four spotlights or does he want to have a um, another pendant light as well as a spotlight. Here, there's another bedroom, and again, there's a switch a wire that's live again and just literally taped up, and they've like this. I've marked it up, or I'm gonna cut this out and put a back box in and put a switch in. Same again, there's six spotlights inside in this bedroom. And there's two double sockets. And these are the sockets they put in. It's got, it's got no head sleeve and there's no, where the wires come in, there's no grommet on it. So uh, I'd have to take the socket out, put a grommet in and put the head sleeve. Every socket that I've opened, they're all the same. So there's no air sleeve and also there's no grommet on it. I'll go to the other bedroom. This is the second bedroom I'm in. Again, the sockets, there's three cable coming in and there's no grommet. One of the cables literally they, um, just come out um, and there's no air sleeve on it. 
what they've done is <clears throat> from there they've made a connection under the floor um, again there's no head sleeve and it actually goes to this one here which is added so none of the socket they put in has got an head sleeve and they don't even have a grommet to protect the wires so I'll have to um, take all of them out and redo them again um, funny thing is what they've done here is they've bought a cable from there connected to that one and then they put a junction here with the connector blocks and gone into this one so I don't know how what they've done here I mean there's no need for that I mean it's either radial or a socket a bit confused here um, again in the ceiling to put six spotlights and um, there's another light uh, light wire hanging in the middle and this is where the switch wires are so there's a switch wire here and there's another switch wire there again it's just taped up and it's live and this is the master bedroom and if you look at this one here the lights the way the lights connected without any connector block or anything is literally just twisted it's dangerous the way it's been done um, this is where the switch um, is there and there's a cable hanging again and that's live I think uh, they want a, a normal pendant light in the middle as well as the spotlight so they can just use whatever they want um, I've opened the stuff in this room again there's no grommet and also there's no head sleeve these are new switch that's been put in and on this side They've actually run a cable, run a cable from this one, and then they've come here. And funny enough, they've gone. The wire's actually exposed on the corner and bought it in this way, and then gone in this one. Again, there's no air sleeve on that, so I'd have to um, take that cable out and put it under the floorboard. There's another socket here, which is right. This this is. This is okay, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, it's got an air sleeve on it, it's a plastic um, back box, so that's fine. I say, the whoever's done this is literally messed it up. It's, um, it's not done um, correctly. This is where the consumer unit is. So these are the cable coming into the consumer unit and the consumer unit is not even labelled or nothing. Okay, so there's no label or anything on it. It's got the bonding. Yeah, it's fine. I have some wires on the floor. I need to check what they are. And this is the downstairs hallway. Got four spotlights put in here. And the switch is actually here. I think once so double two, one for upstairs, one for by the door. This is the front um, living room. Again, the lights in the middle, the way they've done the connection, it's just literally wires twisted together. There's not a metal um, protection on it. And there's six spotlights, actually seven spotlights on the ceiling. And the switch cable is here again it's live and if you look there's no grommet there's no wire protection on it same with the sockets every one of the socket that's been put in is exactly the same and this is another living room um, and this uh, there's a kitchen here the state of the kitchen is really bad um, 
the switch here for the kitchen which is on that corner so I'd have to move the switch from there to somewhere here or even on that side um, some around here also um, there's a double um, sorry this cooker socket here if you look there's no grommet also there's no air sleeve there's another one here which I'll have to blank off because that's where the gas hub is going um, there's another one here again the F cable uh, sorry the alive just um, come off there's no grommet and another uh, cable sticking out so the boiler is there at the minute it's plugged into this one so I'd have to put a few spare here for the boiler I'll just run off that I'd have to get a, a feed for the extractor there's no feed at the minute so I'll put a few spare next to one of them and then run the cable over for this one uh, there's built-in um, microwaves and uh, there's a built-in fridge freezer so I'd have to pull them out and put a double socket behind that he wants a um, washing machine here um, so I'd have to bring a feed in for the washing machine and a dishwasher there's another cable here that's um, on the, sticking out from the wall I don't know what this is but I'll have to find out and this is where they've actually done the extension so they've extended this and they put a little bathroom at the back as well so he wants me to put uh, six spotlights with a new switch and add some um, double sockets on this wall and this bathroom I'd have to put a switch somewhere here and put some lights inside and he also wants a outside light somewhere out there so guys this is the story of builders uh, taking on electrical work um, sometimes I mean if I didn't come here and if I didn't open these sockets then we would have left it like this and um, it's not right um, and it's not to the standard well luckily um, I came here opened a few sockets I opened one and then I thought you know what it's not right so I opened another one and it's just one thing led to another and it turned out to be a, a crazy one so what I'll do is I'll get cracking I'll start taking the sockets out put grommets and put air sleeve and um, some of them they're not even straight so I'll have to straighten them so what I'll do guys, um, while I'm doing it, I'll do further videos, thank you.